From the south, you can't see anything but the back end of a forest. But if you fly around, you see a place that can only exist in fantasy. With the bird's eye view of the most northeastern point of the Norfolk coast, you can't see anything but sea. No horizon line of the amber sunset casting its five o'clock shadow over the North Sea coastline. I don't like how I said that. No horizon. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll just do one myself recording. Imagine, from the south, you can't see anything but the back end of a forest. But if you fly around, you can see. But if you fly around, you see a place that can only exist in fantasy. With the bird's eye view of the most northeastern point of the Norfolk coast, you can't see anything but sea. No horizon line, the amber sunset casting its five o'clock shadow of the northern northeast coastline. No horizon line of the amber sunset casting its five o'clock shadow over the North Sea coastline. Where the sea meets a rock pool at the bottom of a waterfall. Where the waterfall falls from the edge of a river. Mm. Where, the wa- where the waterfall falls from the river at the edge of a cliff. Where the river runs off past the castle ruins and the gardens and into the forest. The rocks piled high against the terracotta and chalk, contrasting its deep blue, grey, mossy. Yeah. <laughs> the rocks piled high against the terracotta and chalk, contrasting with the deep blue, grey, and mossy green highlights of the rocks cascading down onto the sandy beach below, almost covering it completely and moving around the corner of the cliff. The rocks look like they could almost disappear into the sea, with a small stream of water breaking through, not big enough for a fish, but snails and crabs can get through. The rocks surround the rock pool in an almost picture-perfect circle, piled high creating an element of privacy for people that skinny dip and swim there. The rock pool's water has no. The rock pool's water has an almost teal green hue that differentiates it from the sea. It might be the magic of the village that the river comes from, embedding itself in the water, or maybe someone poured green paint into it. It looks like it shouldn't be real. The darkness of the rocks and the teal wall of the water seemed dull compared to the glittering pale bronze of the sand, with flecks of gold that come from the light flickering off the s- ah. <laughs> The darkness of the rocks and the teal of the water seemed dull compared to the glittering pale bronze of the sand with flecks of gold that come from the light flickering off of the sea glass embedded in the sand. It never hurts your feet. You never accidentally step in a shell. It never hurts your feet. You never accidentally step on a shell or a small sharp stone that the North Sea brought, that the North Sea tide brought in. When you walk barefoot on the sand, it's never too hot, never too cold. I guess it helps that the majority of the time the sun doesn't hit the northern coastline of the most northeastern point of the Norfolk coast. The stairs running up the cliff, almost moulding into the chalk and terracotta walls, showing their age. Mm. I'm going to record that. <laughs>